Today we're going to talk about maintenance on one part of a gas train. This is what we call a, a plug cock valve. Basically what I've got is a plug within the body of this valve that rotates to allow gas in or closed to shut gas off. Um, grease plays an important role in this valve functioning and so it's important that we grease this valve at certain intervals. Um, how do we know when it's time to grease it? We'll know when it's either leaking out the stem or it becomes difficult to, to turn the valve. Uh, a valve is a safety device and we need it to function properly. So we're going to talk about two different ways we can get this plug cock back in operation. One way to accomplish this is with a grease gun made specifically for this task. This grease fitting actually fits over the stem of the plug cock and then allows us to pump grease through this valve down into the body. And essentially the pressure of that grease going in floats the valve body up in the seat a little bit and makes it able to turn freely. Um, not everybody's got this rig, so I'm going to show um, a little less tool intensive way to do it. To do this with fewer tools, uh, we basically just need a crescent wrench and proper valve sealant. So the manufacturer of your plug cock may recommend a sealant and lubricant for the valve. In, in this case, we're using uh, a product by FlowServe. So how do I get this in there um, is the question. Let's take a look at that. The same grease fitting that we would attach to uh, the grease pump to is threaded and we can remove that fitting to expose the grease cavity. One thing you may notice is that it's got quite a bit of thread travel on here. The point of that thread travel is not just to secure that in there, but it's actually going to uh, be the force that compacts the grease down into the valve. So then we take some of this sealant and basically just make a shape out of it that will fit down in the valve body. And then when we thread this back in, what we'll see is that it's going to force the grease and I can feel the resistance. As I tighten this down, I'm compressing the grease into the valve in the same fashion that the grease gun would have. So the grease essentially plays two roles in the plug cock. First, um, it lubricates and allows it to turn, but secondly, it actually fills the void between the body and the wedge of the plug um, and forms part of the sealing uh, function. So if we didn't have grease in there, it would probably leak. If it's leaking around the stem and we add grease, we'll probably manage to seal it back up. Now we've properly greased the valve, uh, we can turn that. And, and it is characteristic of these valves to be difficult to turn because of the viscosity of the grease. But if it gets to a point where we can't turn it, we, we do the maintenance. Well, I'm looking for spring just like everybody else is, but it is still cold and it is really getting going to get cold over the next couple of days. So gas train maintenance is always very important. So I appreciate you doing that. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. If you don't mind, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, share a video. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.